don't mean to be all up in your business like that but you know i have to be obedient and i have to put a word out when i receive it and this word is relating to someone who is celibate who's been abstinent from intimacy and um god wants to just remind you how important it is to continue to abstain yourself until you are married okay until you get married and reason being is because he said it's for your sanity it's for your peace your mental peace okay a lot of times what people don't understand is intimacy can complicate things intimacy can make you think someone loves you when they really don't you know it, it can confuse things when you are abstaining from sex and you are just focused on god holy spirit your goals your task and getting things done and all of that what you'll realize is after some time of being abstinent from it you get used to it you're not you're not fighting temptations anymore you're not having a difficult time anymore yeah you may get loneliness sometimes here and there but it won't be difficult for you to get through that because you've already been abstinent for a while right and you'll notice that your mind is a much more clear your discernment is much more sharper when it comes to being able to discern spirits in people because you could be intimate with someone and they'll have a sexually transmitted demon attached to them they'll have a jezebel attached to them that's you know you're going through heavy warfare because you're you're being intimate with someone who has not been delivered who has not been cleansed and now you're fighting off that spirit now your mental is fogged now your discernment is not as sharp do you get what i'm saying and god says it's important for you to keep abstaining abstinent even when you meet your husband or your wife make sure you continue to hold on to that until you are married because you don't want to block any type of discernment that god has strengthened within you okay god has strengthened your spiritual discernment and i'm telling you he said your mental peace if you notice you see a lot of people online who you know they 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 have they're very scarred when it comes to relationships now they think all men are the same and you see them talking badly about men online or you see a lot of men that think women are the same because they're scarred from women they think and they start talking badly about women online the thing is a lot of these people they're dating and dating does not always mean you have to be intimate with someone but a lot of these people they're dating and they're intimate with those who they're dating and intimacy can confuse things intimacy can block you know um can block your discernment so a lot of times when these people are dating strangers they're having sex as well and then when they do this guess what ends up happening they start falling in love with this man or falling in love with this woman then they end up getting played they end up getting used because why their discernment was not as sharp why because they ended up um contracting a sexually transmitted um spirit demon right their their mental is not clear the discernment is not sharp they have lack of discernment they're not able to discern people and discern spirits so now they keep they keep doing this making the same mistake again because they go from one party to another party to another party to another party and they're dating these people and they're going through the same cycle the same mistakes and then they start having a bitterness in their heart then they start resenting women or resenting men then they start bashing women bashing men when all they had to do was abstain from sex and get right with god and ask god to sharpen their spiritual discernment that's it that's it so when god tells us to abstain from sex there's a reason why he's doing it he's protecting our peace he's protecting our spirit and he's protecting our sanity. So a lot of people online, they are going through um, fog, discernment, and they're also, their sanity is not peaceful. They're not at no peace. They're not at peace within themselves. They're not at peace with their mental and their sanity, right? And this is why God is trying to protect us. And this is why he tells us to do certain things. And yes, although it may be hard for some people and for some people it may be lonely, but I'm telling you, it's worth it in the end because this, this, your sanity is protected, your peace is protected. And guess what? This is the most important thing he wanted me to share with you. Now you don't have a negative perception about the opposite sex because why you have discernment. You know that all men are not the same now. You know that all women are not the same now. Why? Because you're not putting yourself in situations to where you keep getting hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt based on 
blocked discernment based on a lack of discernment now you have more wisdom and understanding spiritually to understand that it's the type of people that you you have to discern it's a type of certain type of people that make um make men look bad a certain type of women that make women look bad it's not all women it's not all men and when you have that mental peace and you are abstinent you come to that realization and now your heart is so clean you're not afraid to love your husband or love your wife when they come in because through that time you were abstinent, you spent time with God. You learned how to be a good husband or you learned how to good be, be a good man. You learned about your husband or you learned about your wife. Now you have a different perspective than the world does when it comes to the opposite sex. You get it? So God does this a lot of times to protect our mental peace and sanity. So I just want to say, be careful if that's what you're doing. Because if you start doing everything that everybody else is doing hopping from person to person to person date person to person to person you're going to be like a lot of people who lack discernment now because they're carrying these sexually transmitted spirits to the point where now their heart turns cold and bitter and they start to hate the opposite sex and that's what you want to avoid okay i just want to give someone this confirmation who's thinking about breaking a celibacy do not break it because you're going to think back like man i should have listened you wait for your husband to come in or you wait for your wife to come in and you wait for the Lord to bless you on marriage before that happens, okay? Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.